at the same time as warnings came from a meeting of the United Nations Framework Convention on climate change in Doha, Qatar, that emissions reductions are not happening fast enough globally to avoid temperature rise of almost four degrees, the 2012 Los Angeles Auto Show delivered several eagerly anticipated electric vehicles. Beyond this eye-catching, fun EV concept introduced by Toyota at the Tokyo Auto Show last year, GreenFamilyCar.com discovered that the LA Auto Show continued to happily surprise us with electric vehicle introductions. The Green Family Car now talking with Lou Rhodes. We're going to get you uh, in front of the 500E, which is the most exciting vehicle. I, I've been waiting to hear about it. But now, only about 1% of the people in this country know about electric vehicle technology. You're the master, so what should they know, and what should they know about the 500 yeah. E. Well, the first thing they should know is it's a fun car. It's a fun car to drive. There is no compromise. So I, I think not a lot of people know that about electric cars. They're convenient, they're familiar, they're easy to drive, they're fun to drive, and really they fit a lot of people's lifestyles. So I think that's most of the information that's maybe not well understood right now about electric cars. Yeah. The Fiat 500E, I think, just takes that to that next level. We really did want the fun factor. The car is fun anyways. It's unique, Italian styling. Uh, we merged that with the technology that we had at Chrysler to create really a, a quick vehicle, 0 to 60 in 9 seconds, 111 horsepower, 150 pound-feet of torque. So uh, that torque is available at any time. You're, you're safe to get onto the highway, to pass with confidence. See, that's what a lot of people don't realize. They've, they don't. they've been in a golf cart and it takes off fast, they get the torque. They don't realize that the electric car is very fast off the line. Dean, I've had the opportunity to, to drive with about a thousand people in our early evaluation of this car. And that's really what they think of is, you know, common questions. Will it go more than 55? Can I get on the highway? And about 30 seconds after driving the car, they no longer ask that question. We wanted the car to be really sporty, handle really well. It has the additional weight of the battery, but we use it to our advantage. It's low, so we lower the CG of the car. We change the, the weight distribution, so it's more 50-50. So it's a very well-balanced, very well-handling vehicle. Now, water-cooled batteries, I understand. Uh, you want to make sure that these are optimal temperature as they operate, and you're doing yeah. water cooling. Yeah, that, so that's what the battery wants to have. It wants to live in an environment that's a real predictable temperature. So really, we're between uh, 20 degrees F to 100. We really don't have to manage the battery. But on the other extremes, we precondition the car. So from your mobile device, you can send a command, say I'm gonna be driving in the next 15, 20 minutes. It will go ahead and warm up or cool down the battery, get it to its ideal temperature, so you're never compromising the amount of power that you're demanding from the vehicle. In the spring, I think SMART truly achieves what is its higher calling when we introduce the zero emission SMART electric drive. It will be the most sustainable vehicle in our product portfolio. It's going to get the miles per gallon equivalent of 122 miles in the city. Now complement that with an MSRP of $25,000 and the Smart Electric will absolutely represent the best value fully electric vehicle on the marketplace. I think everyone can see that. But first, a little bit of background. Mercedes-Benz took the SUV market by storm in 1997 with the debut of the M-Class. Today, we've got the broadest SUV portfolio in the business. The G, the GL, the GLK, and the ML models. So in the world's largest SUV market, it's important that we continue to push the boundaries of what an SUV should be. But we need to do it in a responsible way. So introducing the Vision Energy Force, 
concept car that was inspired and designed right here in Southern California in our Carlsbad Advanced Design Studio.